I'm going to show you the plot boundary features in Site3D. So I'm going to go to the uh, plot boundary tools here and I'm going to create a new plot boundary line. I'm going to use the snaps here just to help me connect to the actual layout lines. So if I put the, uh, the, uh, the, the backbone, the spine of this uh, plot boundary feature here through clicking where I either need to change direction or change level. Then I just need to add in the, the others just to connect onto that one. You can do them in any direction, it doesn't matter. Just connecting from the uh, plot boundary lines to the properties now. And one more. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is I need to set the levels where the plot boundaries are actually connecting to pre-leveled items, something like where we're connecting to buildings. So let's start down here. This one needs to be 15.675. Uh, this one doesn't actually connect to it, but it needs to be because it's very close. So I need to uh, level this one probably the same, 15.675. That's roughly midway between those two. Um, then have a look over here. So this one needs to be 14.925. Uh, this one needs to be 14.475. That one can stay as is because it's at the existing ground at the property, at the property boundaries. Uh, this one needs to be 15.15. This one also needs to be 15.15. And uh, well, this one here is also very close. So if I select this one, I can change this one to something near 15.15. .15. Let's make that 15.2. Uh, it's slightly higher. Okay, now I want to create the final surface, which will include those items. And now you can see on the 3D view, we have a final surface which has the uh, plot boundaries added in. I want to see um, how steep they are. This one obviously looks very steep, so I need to go into my uh, spot annotation tools and add a spot gradient for each of these gardens here. I will uh, have it annotating the final surface and then just add one for each of the gardens, roughly in the middle. There we go. Now, a couple of those texts are kind of uh, obscured by other items, so let's just move those. There we go. So uh, these two are looking way too steep. The others look reasonable. So uh, let's go back into our plot boundary tools and edit some of these levels. So I want to raise up this edge here because obviously it's, it's falling down too, uh, too quickly to this level here. So let's raise this one up to it something like uh, 15 and a half. That sort of is roughly midway between these two levels. Uh, the outside of this line here needs to be at the external ground level of this building here because we've got a path that goes down the outside. So let's change that one. So this one needs to be at uh, 14.925. Now I'm going to untick set all levels here because I want to change this side independently of the inside. So, okay. So now you can see the inside has stayed at the same level, but now we have a gravel board annotated. So now I want to change the inside as well because that one uh, probably is still too steep. So let's change that to something like 15.2. There we go. So that's actually updated the level difference on this gravel board annotation as well and the, and the one down here. So now looking at these, this one here yeah, is clearly steep and the inside is, yes, it's about a metre lower. So let's actually raise that one right up. So just again, editing the inside, I'm going to change that one to, again, 15.5. Now we have annotations for a retaining wall on here. Now, 615 mil retaining wall is quite high. Let's see if we can reduce that one. I also need to raise up this, this area here anyway, because this one's still too steep. So let's change this one to something like 15, 15.1. I'll change the other side as well for the same. And this corner probably still wants to be raised up as well. So I'm going to do that one also at 15.1. Okay. So now we've changed some of these levels. Uh, I want to uh, update the uh, um, annotations for the spot gradient. So let's go to our surface, recreate the final surface. That's updated it in the 3D view and it's also updated the annotations here. So now we have reasonable uh, gradients in all of our gardens here. And uh, 
just to double check, we can then also add in or create our formation surface. So go to the uh, create formation surface here. And that's done. That has now created the formation surface underneath. So if I go and turn off the, uh, the final surface, we now have the formation surface created beneath it. This is with the uh, topsoil backfill um, taken into account throughout the, uh, the plot boundary features here as well. Thank you.